In the previous video, we started our discussion of surface roughness. We discussed how texturing increases the path length of light through an absorber layer without increasing the geometrical thickness of the absorber. We also discussed that smaller surface features more effectively scatters light with a shorter wavelength. We will now look into the effect of surface texture on the solar cell parameters. To demonstrate the impact on the external parameters of a solar cell, we will compare the performance of three nanocrystalline silicon solar cells with different textured TCO layers. The first is textured with random nanocytes surface features. The second has micro-sized random surface features. This has been obtained by applying a large-scale texture in the glass substrate before depositing the zinc oxide. The final cell has modulated surface texture, which means it has nanocyte features on top of the micro-sized features, as we can see in the figure. This has been obtained by first applying a large-scale texture in the glass substrate before depositing the zinc oxide. Finally, the zinc oxide layer was exposed to a short etching step to realize the additional nanoscale texturing. Since the goal of the surface roughness is to increase the light trapping in the cell, we will first investigate the short circuit current density of the cell. The short current density of the microtextured cell, plotted here as a function of the absorber layer thickness, increases with increasing absorber layer thickness. The shape of the curve matches that of the Lambert-Beer law for absorption. The short current density of nanotextured cell and the cell with modulated surface texture, indicated by the red dots and blue squares respectively, is much higher for thin film absorber layers. We can therefore gather that the nanotextured surfaces are much more effective at scattering the incident light. The texturing features affect more than just the light trapping of the cell, however. We can see that the fill factor of the microtextured cell decreases with increasing absorber layer thickness. So does the open circuit voltage of the cell. This decrease is, however, much more pronounced in the cells with nanotexture, especially the cell with only nanocyte features. Since the nanotexture is effective at trapping the light, these cells have a relatively high efficiency at a low absorber layer thickness, but the efficiency hardly increases for thicker absorber layers due to the poor fill factor and open circuit voltage. The efficiency of the cell with microtexture does strongly increase with increasing absorber layer thickness, up to 3 microns, at which point it outperforms the nanotextured cells. But why exactly do these surfaces with nanotextures have such a deep detrimental effect on the electrical performance of the solar cell? The cross-section of the solar cells provides some insights. This figure shows the nanocrystalline silicon absorber deposited on top of the microtextured aluminum dope zinc oxide layer. The cell is covered by a metal electrode. Now we consider the same absorber layer on top of the nanotextured TCO layer. Whereas the silicon on top of the microtexture has grown relatively uniform, large cracks are present in the crystalline tissue on top of the nanotextured surface. The cracks or defective filaments are indicated by the yellow arrows. We can clearly see that the cracks correspond to valleys of the sharp, V-shaped nanotexture features of the TCO substrate. The larger, smooth, U-shaped microtexture features do not have these sharp valleys, and as a consequence, there appear no large cracks running through the material. Similar results can be observed for the modulated surface texture absorber. The cracks are zones of porous material. These porous defective filaments enhance charge carrier recombination and act as shunt paths that significantly increases the leakage current. The increased recombination and leakage current results in a lower open circuit voltage and fill factor. The solar cell performance is directly related to the density of these defective filaments. So how then can we implement modulated textured surfaces into a micromorph PIN cell? At the Delft University of Technology, a modulated multi-surface texture approach has been developed 
where both sides of the TCO are textured. This has been achieved by applying large-scale texture in the glass substrate. On top of that, a highly transparent front electrode has been deposited consisting of two layers. First, an hydrogenated indium oxide layer and secondly, an intrinsic zinc oxide layer. The natural texture of the intrinsic zinc oxide acts like the nanoscale texture. The amorphous silicon top cell has been deposited on top of the modulated surface textured substrate. The amorphous silicon solar cells mutants out the nano texture. Therefore, the nanocrystalline silicon bottom cell can be grown on the large scale texture substrate without the generation of defect rich filaments. Using this approach, high efficient light trapping in combination with high quality optoelectrical absorber materials were obtained, leading to a record initial conversion efficiency for micromorph solar cells of 14.8%. Summarized, we have discussed that to facilitate external light trapping for the various spectral ranges, the size of the textured surface features should be scaled accordingly. The visible spectral range requires a smaller scale of texturing than the spectral range from the red to infrared, as demonstrated by the optimal textures for amorphous silicon solar cells and nanocrystalline silicon solar cells. If both junctures are combined in a micromorph silicon solar cell, the modulated surface textures need to be adopted to have various skills of texturing at the various interfaces in the device. In addition, the important interplay between the texture and the material quality of absorber layers have been discussed as well. It is important to prevent the incorporation of sharp textures as they result in the growth of defect-rich filaments in the nanocrystalline silicon absorber layers. The modulated surface texture of the record micromorph tandem solar cells processed at Delft University has been introduced as well. Here, a modulated surface texturing approach is combined with highly transparent front electrodes based on hydrogenated indium oxide and intrinsic zinc oxide to achieve state-of-the-art performing tandem cells.